Intraocular pressure, or IOP, is regulated by the rate of aqueous humor production and its outflow through two pathways. The primary outflow pathway consists of the trabecular meshwork and Schlem's canal. The majority of aqueous humor exits the eye through this pathway. The remaining aqueous humor exits the eye through a secondary pathway, called the uveoscleral pathway. It is widely understood that IOP becomes elevated when resistance to aqueous humor outflow increases. A major cause of this resistance is believed to be the contraction of cells within the trabecular meshwork, which restricts the amount of space available for aqueous humor outflow. Visalta, latanoprostine bunad ophthalmic solution, 0.024% is indicated for the reduction of IOP in patients with open angle glaucoma or ocular hypertension. Please stay tuned for important safety information about Visalta at the end of this video. Visalta is thought to lower IOP by its dual mechanism of action, increasing outflow through both the trabecular meshwork, the eye's primary outflow pathway, and the uveoscleral pathway. Once in the eye, Visalta, or latanoprostine bunad, is metabolized into two moieties, latanoprost acid and butane diol mononitrate, which releases nitric oxide. The first moiety, latanoprost acid, is a prostaglandin analog. It primarily works within the uveoscleral pathway by increasing the interstitial spaces between the ciliary muscles to increase aqueous humor outflow. The second moiety is butane diol mononitrate, which releases 1,4-butane diol and nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is an endogenous signaling molecule active throughout the body. Nitric oxide has been shown to regulate diverse physiologic functions, including blood flow by promoting relaxation of vascular smooth muscle cells. Preclinical studies suggest that in normal eyes, the Schlem's canal produces nitric oxide in response to elevated IOP. Further preclinical studies have shown that nitric oxide relaxes cells within the trabecular meshwork allowing for improved aqueous humor outflow. Clinical studies in patients with primary open angle glaucoma have found decreased levels of nitric oxide markers in the aqueous humor, leading to the hypothesis that a deficiency of nitric oxide may play a role in trabecular meshwork cell contraction and elevated IOP as seen in glaucoma. Studies have shown that increasing nitric oxide levels in glaucomatous eyes through the application of nitric oxide releasing treatments such as Visalta may be a viable therapeutic approach to relax the cells of the trabecular meshwork and lower IOP. Visalta, one molecule, two outflow pathways, proven IOP reduction. Please stay tuned for important safety information about Visalta. Visalta, latanoprostine bunad ophthalmic solution, 0.024% is indicated for the reduction of intraocular pressure, or IOP, in patients with open angle glaucoma or ocular hypertension. Increased pigmentation of the iris and periorbital tissue, or eyelid, can occur. Iris pigmentation is likely to be permanent. Gradual changes to eyelashes, including increased length, increased thickness, and number of eyelashes may occur. These changes are usually reversible upon treatment discontinuation. Use with caution in patients with a history of intraocular inflammation, such as iritis or uveitis. Visalta should generally not be used in patients with active intraocular inflammation. Macular edema, including cystoid macular edema, has been reported during treatment with prostaglandin analogs. Use with caution in aphakic patients, in pseudophagic patients with a torn posterior lens capsule, or in patients with known risk factors for macular edema. 
There have been reports of bacterial keratitis associated with the use of multiple dose containers of topical ophthalmic products that were inadvertently contaminated by patients. Contact lenses should be removed prior to the administration of Visalta and may be reinserted 15 minutes after administration. The most common ocular adverse reactions with incidence greater than or equal to 2% are conjunctival hyperemia, 6%, eye irritation, 4%, eye pain, 3%, and installation site pain, 2%. Please see full prescribing information for Visalta.